they left me to babysit this thing. It's about that time again. What is up guys, if you're watching this, that means you've got another day. I'm here running shotgun in the new 2020 C8 with life Ferrari. We're following 2020 48 Pista, right? 48 Pista Spider. In I don't even know what color green you call that. It's spec'd out custom, so it's got that green exterior with a nice tan interior. We're going through Malibu Canyons right now to try to just stretch the legs on this C8. We're obviously gonna shoot some photos, so more to come on that. But I'm gonna let you guys know what we think about this C8. Now, just so you know, if you don't own one, you gotta drive these things at least 500 miles to get it broken in. And they limit themselves, but once you hit 500, it's completely opened up. So this one's fully broken in. And you can hear that sweet American V8 hiding in the back there, which you can see from the uh, passenger seat, which is a nice touch. Everything about this car screams fighter pilot. The inside is designed perfectly. And for those of you haters that think there's not enough room in the passenger side, I'm 6'2 and I'm just fine. You're gonna have the square steering wheel. Bose sound system. When you're dealing with a mid-engine car, you get some different specs, performance numbers, everything changes. Now, American Muscle typically has their engine in the front, but this one stuffs it in the back. I think they're halting production on it, so these are gonna be hard to find now. Now, I have some experience driving the Z06 and the ZR1. They handle horribly if you really ramp down on the gas, especially in turns and corners. This is a mid-engine car, it's balanced totally different, so expect it to uh, perform a lot differently then uh, I guess the last car I would have driven would have been that ZR1. Oh, that sounded good. So just pulled up and parked next to the Huracan. Look at the only three cars that are here. ZR1. And then also the uh, the Pista. Like I have plenty of miles on a 48, but not a Pista. So it'll be nice to see how this one handles the canyons as well. They left me to babysit this thing. They should have given me the keys. I would have been gone. They would have never seen me again. I also asked him to give a good peel out so we could hear the exhaust note. And uh, that was a terrible exhaust note, so we'll get that again. But I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I'm babysitting a 48 Pista. Just not things that you would typically find yourself doing on a Sunday. I hope some people pass me and they think this is mine. They're gonna be like, wow, look at that YouTuber. He must be really killing it. <laughs> let's, let's take a look around the Pista. That interior, all tan with whatever you call this green. You gotta come up with a name for this green. Now you ordered it straight from the factory in this color, so it's the only one like it. We will call it Malibu green, cause it kinda matches the, yeah, okay. Carbon fiber on carbon fiber. Love the vents on the side. And then for those of you who don't know, you can tell it's a Pista because the hood has this little scoop in it. Based on how the exhaust pipes are and the light setup usually is a giveaway on whether or not it's a Pista. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. Somebody tell me if the all Pistas are convertibles or if you can get them as coupes. I like the convertible. There we go right there. Pista Spider. Uh, hey, check it out. Mistake, bro, you left the key in here. I should totally, I should leave right now. <laughs> Just never to be seen again. Let's shake up, shake things up a little bit. Get the earth moving. We're getting such a good sound note off the pista in front and then the engine in the back. This is the place to be. Because if you got a mid-engine car, you've got noise behind you, and then if you've got a good-looking car in front of you, it's a symphony of naturally aspirated awesomeness. That one, turbo. that one will have turbo. Yep. Still has a nice, My bad. My nice bad. note to it. The gentleman driving the 40 piece, if you want to follow him on IG, it is the Saint Reincarnated? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so there's always that one guy on the cruise that he gets stuck behind. Everybody else has to suffer. Usually it's a Honda Civic. Shift, slow down, and punch it. Look at that tree, first time seeing one of those. I forgot, what is that called? It's the new Porsche, it's the new electric one. I don't even remember. Yeah. Take on. 
That's it, take on. However you say it. If that, is that how you say it? I don't even know. Amber has joined us in the 4x4 square. This is kind of like insurance driving around because if the cops are gonna pull somebody over, it's gonna be the giant neon building driving next to us. Okay, we switched up the pace. We're not in the sea yet anymore. Back in the 4x4 square, joined up with Amber and the one true Mo. The debate was whether or not the G-Wagon can handle this uh, steep hill. I know it's be light work for my Mustang, but I don't know if the Mercedes can handle it. It might be a little too bougie for some off-roading. Rare footage of a G-Wagon off-road in LA that almost never happens. Usually they're uh, found in uh, Beverly Hills shopping malls and the Grove. I don't know which one of those, unfortunately. Let's but, uh, Google it. Google it. Yeah, mashing all of them is not the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Wow, that's crazy. What he doesn't know is we already got the footage. He can't untake our photos. Wait, hold on, repeat that. Okay. Yeah, what do you think of the car? Dude, that is just sick. <laughs> I gotta have one. Okay. American, oh, American beauty. Get out of here, get out of here. I love you, brother. <laughs> it's been like that all day. Even the cops are like giving thumbs up. People are huge fans of the C8. Check out this. Bam! No. A real productive wing over there. No. Oh, and he's he's putting on a show for the G wagon. <laughs> Time out. Just because I know people are gonna wonder. Yes, we're still in quarantine. Yes, people should not be outside. Just so you know, I've been quarantined successfully for going on two months. I leave literally once a week for the grocery store, and that's it. Only left twice. One time to go drive with those two, and again today to go drive with those two. So everybody that freaks out, don't. We're okay. Just wanted to make sure I cleared that up for you guys because uh, it is still important to stay safe. All right, guys, I think that does it for today. Finally have to get out of the CA. We put a lot of miles on it today. Make sure you go check the gram to see all the photos. We upload videos every single Tuesday and Thursday. I don't care what's going on in the world. You know it's gonna be car content on my channel no matter what. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you next week. Peace.